Hey guys, welcome back to Supercar Street Racing. Today we're going to be designing my car stereo system for the club car precedent golf cart. So we have Photoshop open here and we are going to start looking at what we need to design our stereo system here. Now we've got our safe title area here, um, which we don't really need that um, while we're doing just a regular design. So I'm trying to remember how you uh, actually get those off. Um, let's see. There's a way to do safe title, but I can't remember it. Okay, there it is, it's extras. So the first thing we need is a speaker for a, like a PNG file. So there's a transparent and what we're going to do is go here and look for our actual order. And here's our Infinity Kappa. And I went ahead and downloaded this picture on white. So when I open Photoshop here and I go to my downloads folder, this is the picture here. Let's see, did I download it? Yes, it did. Let's see if it didn't uh, auto refresh. Let's see if we refresh. Okay, there's the actual speaker. So being that this is on white, it's not a PNG file, so it's not transparent. Um, let's delete the background here and make this into a PNG. So let's delete that layer. Now we have no background, but you see we're still on a white canvas here, but we wanna remove that. So what you do is you go to select, color range and actually this is pretty easy just to do a circle and select it but color range works pretty good unless you have whites inside the actual picture but let's see and when you do that it shows you what it's going to cut out here uh, now you want to do an in select inverse so it cuts out everything on the outside so we go select inverse um, and then we do edit copy and then we do file new because we're going to do a we're going to actually make a new picture for our background for our uh, whole design here. So file, new. I'm gonna make it uh, 10, uh, no, wrong wrong size. I'm gonna make it HDTV. So file, n dang it. File, new. And HDTV is right here. And paste. Okay, it didn't do very well at the uh, copy and paste. So I'm gonna go back to our picture. I'm gonna undo this first. So we didn't get a good cut out here. Um, I'm gonna just cut it out with a circle. So let's deselect everything. Change our marquee tool here to a circle and just cut it out like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. We just want the whole speaker in there and then we can move it a little bit once we get it kind of where we want it. We hit control C come back to our canvas here, hit control V, and then we can edit, transform, and we can do a scale. And we can do the golf cart over here. So let's call this the golf cart dash. And we're going to put that there on the left side. And now see, we got that layer. We can right click this and duplicate that layer and then we have a second one oh, over here. We have to define our new layer. Now we have a second one laying on top of that one. Let's just take our tool there and move it to the side. Now it's snapping into place because we have snap selected. So it's snapping on the place uh, right where the same plane where this guy is. So there's our front speakers. And let's go to our text tool and type in what these guys are. Let's find some different text first from Text Studio. Um, let's just find some simple text. This looks kind of cool. So let's get our text here. Let's go infinity. If I could type infinity 6.5 two-way. Remove the background on Tech Studio and then just download it. This will be a PNG, so it will be transparent. And we can show it in the folder there. It's on the other screen, but if we drag it over here, now we have our Infinity 6.5 two ways there. We can label that however we want. That's gonna be our fronts. Those sit in the carbon fiber dash. So then of course we need our subwoofer. Now let's go back to our orders here at Amazon 
and we will find the actual sub and it is here the scar audio and let's get let's go ahead and we might be able to cut that out I'm not sure save image as and it downloads go back to Photoshop here and get rid of this I don't want to save this no save now I've got our scar audio in the other screen let's drop that onto I'll just copy that actually I'm gonna right click and copy it you guys can't see it because it's on the other screen but we do a file new and huh, it didn't copy file new it should say clipboard here it doesn't really matter but we can paste it here I'll drag it over okay so there's our speaker we should be able to do let's merge visible first so we we merge our layer with our background now that we have everything merged we can try select color range and you see that cut out there let's do select inverse and try to cut cut this out now we do have some white that's not going to make it because the little white here is going to mess our selection up so we copy that control c go back to our other one and we have our now it doesn't matter about the white because the background's right white but now we can transform this and scale it and we can put our scar audio back in the rear of the golf cart and what we're going to do now is go back to our text tool and we're going to see what this is actually so scar audio sdr12 Okay, let's take that over to Text Studio. Go to Text, paste that in. And let's put the SDR12 on the second line. Download that with PNG. Maximum quality you can do is medium if you don't sign up for the account. Now I've got it on the other screen. Let's go ahead and put that there. So there's our SCAR Audio SDR12, which is going to be in the back of the golf cart the rear of the golf cart in an enclosure that i bought specifically that fits in underneath the passenger footwell where there's plenty of space here and now we need our amplifier i have already downloaded it we're done with this because we can close that we don't want to save it let's go to our amplifier over here so let's do file new again make a big nice new space drag our amp over and we can actually place it a little lower like that and maybe actually just cut it out because we don't need all that other stuff ah it's gonna be hard to cut like that yeah i don't want to bother with it select deselect select color range and there's our color range already ready to go now we select inverse and what that does is cuts out everything on the outside of the selection. Then we copy it, edit copy or we control C. Come over to our drawing here, paste our amplifier and all the accessories and do edit, transform, scale. If you do scale, it doesn't change the aspect ratio. It just changes the size without changing the aspect ratio. So here's our five channel amplifier. Um, and we are gonna go ahead and place it right there. Now we have to get some text for this to define what it is. So this is a, um, where is it? Uh, okay. I have it somewhere already up. Yeah, well, Rockville five channel. And it is the Phenom. And, ah, sorry, I did that completely wrong. Yeah, there we go. Rockville RXHF5. Take that into Tech Studio here. And that is perfect. And let's just drop this on the second line. Download that. Make sure you are in medium quality and click download. And I have that on the other screen. And let's pull that over here and shrink that down. And there is our Rockville amp. Now we are doing the epicenter as well. The fake epicenter, which works just as good as all the other ones. I removed it from the 
home audio system and we need to find that on our orders here from a little bit ago let's see if we can find it on here it is the Blaupunk EPX 1600 and there is the picture save image as we'll save that to downloads we will go back to Photoshop here kill this out don't save it file new again and pull our epicenter over our Blaupunk EP1600X drop that in select color range click OK select inverse copy edit copy go back to our drawing paste that in there's our Blaupunk EP1600X and we need to take that in to get the title type Blaupunk EP1600X take us into our tech studio drop that on the second line download that with a PNG file and on the other screen we have our downloads folder open and at any time you can move this stuff around by clicking the layer over here so there's our EP1600X one more thing we gotta get we are getting a Galaxy Tab A7 Lite let's get that picture and save that into downloads it's actually a PNG file it might be transparent but let's see all right so we got our PNG file let's drop it over here and see what happens it looks like it has a background actually that's fine it's got a white background doesn't matter Let's put it down here. Let's put it up top. Might be easier to be on the left here. And then take everything else. Ah, dang it. Edit, undo. Ah, man. Okay. Layer 4. Move that over here. Move that layer. Dang it. Move that layer. Move the Rockville. Move the Rockville text. And take our tablet and drop it over here. Since it's on white, it just blends right in. And this is what we are ordering. I gotta go get the name. It's just a uh, Galaxy Tab A7 Lite. So I'm copying the text over from the other screen. Going back into my tech studio here. Let's drop this down. Download that PNG. We got that now in our downloads folder. I will go ahead and pull that over. And there is the completed non wired up diagram of the audio system for the cart so we need a bluetooth logo now to show that we are connecting bluetooth so let's go over here and find one so all we need to do is do bluetooth png will be a transparent png we go to images some of these you have to join to uh to actually download but we're going to look for one that doesn't require joining this one's got a little shadow that looks pretty cool. Looks like we can download that for free. Download HTPNG. Let's do transparent. Um, it doesn't look like it lets me without signing up, so forget that one. Let's try this one. That might be also a paid. Yeah, this is also a paid site. Stay away from the paid uh, Bluetooth or the paid Bluetooth. Stay away from the paid uh, sites. You don't need to do that. Like this guy is completely free. Um, 
this guy is completely free. Download. Well, it's supposed to be free. Let's see if it... Nope, that's another paid one. PNG Wing I thought was free. Download. There we go. Click alphabets to download. WY3Z. WY3Z. Alright, so there's our download. Took a second, but yes, we have it. So we're going to just denote here that this is Bluetooth. Now, we have a Bluetooth adapter to put here, so I forgot that. So let's go ahead and grab the Bluetooth adapter from Amazon. Bluetooth adapter. That's the exact one. Save image as, let's drop that in downloads. Go to our downloads folder and I'll pull that over for you guys. Just like that. Now we can take this and drop it right here. Now we need four channels. We need two for the front to feed the front, this five channel amp to feed the front part of the amp. We need two to feed the subwoofer inputs as well for the five channel, the fifth channel. And so we have a Y adapter that comes out of here and feeds four. So it comes out male to two females and then we have two sets of RCA cables going from this to this. But let's just go ahead and get our line tool. I've never used this before, but let's just draw a line there and a line there. And we can add text if we really want to but we know that that is feeding there and we can also draw to here like that hit enter okay so actually we could go grab some little text to kind of define this on our uh, text studio let's just put channel one and two, download that. And let's put channel through channel five sub. Download that. We have those sitting in our download folder now. Let's pull this over. Denote this here, just like that. And then we'll take our little sub denote that here we're just going to assume that we know that there's a Y adapter right there so there's our subwoofer and our channel one and two so there's a Y adapter and two sets of RCA cables so it adapts um, male to two female on each side and then we take two pairs of our two sets of RCA cables and run our RCA inputs now the Rockville has five channels of outputs as well but we are running a Blaupunk Epicenter. So let's take our line tool. And so this is the input and this is the output. So we're gonna, we're gonna come right here um, from, actually I did this whole thing wrong. Um, yeah, we gotta back up. I did this wrong. Okay, so two channels feed the RXH F5, the, the front channels go directly from our Bluetooth adapter. The other two actually go here to our Blaupunk. Okay, so that goes here. And then also we could place that here. Then, this actually feeds channel five on the Rockville. And 
place those there. So this is channel, actually let's move this channel five sub here to the center. Get our placement tool. There, that's a little bit more easy to read. Let's put it on top of everything as well by dragging the dragging the layer to the top. We could actually put these lines below the Rockville, or we can move the Rockville RH RHX5 up. We'll just do that. So if you just drag it up the layer wise, now it's on top of the line, see? All right, now we can place our channel one and two back on here. We had that totally incorrect. I just did it wrong. I wasn't thinking about the epicenter. There's our channel one and two. And we got our channel five feeding the Rockville. Then the Rockville will feed the front two speakers with channel one and two. Let's get our line tool. And we're going to go here and here. Whoops, I forgot to place it. And then eventually we'll move the SCAR audio up. But now we have our sub channel here going to our subwoofer. That's one voice coil. And then we come out of that to another voice coil. Uh, let's undo that. That didn't come out good. And we need to move everything up. Let's move the SCAR audio up. Above everything, put it on top. So that just moved this font up to the top. Now let's move the subwoofer up to the top. I think it's this one. That moves it on top. Oh, it didn't? Come on. Okay, it didn't move it up. Let's see why. Come on. Okay, there it goes. Now the sub is on top. Now we need some text to indicate the voice coils. Let's go back over to Tech Studio here. Let's do VC1 for ohm and VC2 for ohm. Go back to our drawing here, VC1, 4 ohm. Drop that over here, VC2. Oh, I forgot to place it. VC2, 4 ohm here. These are going to be parallel. So one voice coil feeds the other voice coil, which would lead a 2 ohm load on the amplifier. Let's go note that. 2 ohm load. Let's see if I can spell. Did I spell it right? Drop that in from our downloads folder. And that goes right here. There is the basic design. Now the only thing that isn't shown here is the power. So we have a, up here we actually have a, let's, let's go ahead and do that, the power. So let's go back to our orders here. So we have a 48 volt to 12 volt reducer right here let's save that and we will drag that over up to the corner here's our voltage reducer and that is our power section 
and we can label that. Let's go to our tech studio here, 48V to 12V. That's our voltage reducer. Come back to our drawing, drop that in. And put it somewhere over here, small. So this feeds both the Blaupunkt and the power amplifier with 12 volts. Um, we could probably draw that line, um, but let's, let's see. Let's see if I can figure out how to make the line tool. Um, well, it's black. How do you make it red? I'm not sure how you do that. Hmm. Not sure. So for now, we know without drawing lines that that's going to feed that. And it's going to feed this guy. Whoops. Edit undo. Let's place that. Let's go back to Tech Studio. Let's go back here and change this to, I don't know how we do it blue, or change the color, color red, let's see. Oh, that didn't do it either, okay. Um, filling color, that didn't work. Gradient text. That's perfect, actually. Um, 12V. We'll download that. We'll drop back into our drawing here. Drop that on there. And let's actually put it right here. And then draw a line from there to there. And we can duplicate that layer. Duplicate. And just kind of pull that down here. Edit transform, scale, drop it down. So we know that's 12 volts. We could probably change these lines to, uh, to red. I just, I'm not sure how you do that. I just put the 12V on top of the line. So there's our voltage reducer. Um, there is actually going to be a master switch before this underneath the seat so that I can switch off everything when necessary. So there's no power to any of this stuff. And then also there's an inverter that we can also connect to this 12 volt reducer so that the cart has 110 volt actual plugs to plug in anything for the house. So let's save this image. We'll save as a copy. Um, let's put it in projects. We've got to make a new project. Designing my car, or sorry, golf cart audio system. And we get that. And let's put it as a JPEG that we can use it in our video here. Golf cart audio. Save that. It's going to ask you what quality. Let's do full. And now we have the video here. Now I'm going to put that video up on the screen right now for you guys to see. So this is the design of the golf cart audio system, and I'm just going to go over it quickly with you. So we start with a Galaxy Tab A7 Lite on the left. We are using Bluetooth there to connect it to the Bluetooth receiver, which is not labeled here, but it's the blue thing. Actually, let's go ahead and get that labeled. That's the only thing that's not labeled. Um, and actually we changed our style let's put it back to blue 
And let's go. Bluetooth. Receiver. Download that. PNG. Drop that down here. Before this gets too crowded, that's about the last thing that I want to put on here. All right, let's file, save as a copy. JPEG, overwrite the old one. It says, do you want to replace it? And your quality is going to be full quality. All right, here we go again. So the Galaxy Tab A7 Lite feeding a Bluetooth receiver. This Bluetooth receiver has these RCA outputs. We have Y adapters coming out of that. We have a female, a sorry, a male to two female for each output. Two sets of RCA cables feeding the amplifier. One set goes to the Blaupunk EP1600X for bass, comes out of the Blaupunk EP1600, feeds the fifth channel of the Rockville, which is a mono channel for the bass. We have a SCAR Audio SDR12 here, four ohms per voice call in parallel will produce a two ohm load on the Rockville amplifier. The Rockville amplifier will be running the Infinity 6.5 inch two ways in the dash for now. And we have the option of adding rear speakers later to the rear output of the Rockville RXH F5 amplifier. And that's basically it. That's the whole audio system, give or take a few little accessories. And we have those ordered and some things will start trickling in. As things get here, we'll go over it. Guys, this is Supercar Street Racing. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys have a great weekend and a happy new year.